Hello folks, welcome to my channel. This is uh, John again from Classic Garage. Um, today I have uh, something small to share with you and it is, um, it is a bit of a tool which I needed on uh, one of the uh, projects I am on at the moment. So without further ado let me show you what I'm, what I'm making. This is the this is the bit of a mock-up or bit of a look out how that's going to look like but in the process of fixing it I have come to the to the issue to the bit of a bit of a challenge and the challenge is to bend those bars this is the this is how that that pattern is going to look like once once is once is done once is finished. So that pattern will look somehow like that, and uh, obviously, other side goes like that. Now these things need to be they need to be bended forty five degree or or you can go other way around, you can bend it 90 degree and then go all around. I choose to make that out of uh, two pieces because there is a connection in here which which will which will go onto those onto the onto the frame as you can see there. So I could have gone and buy myself a uh, um, bending machine little hand bending machine but I choose not to I choose to make uh, one and save myself uh, 370 bucks this is how I did it this is just uh, quickly to show you how that uh, the makeshift <laughs> makeshift mill looks like this is little my fort and uh, this is a four flute uh, 14 mil 14 mil bit which is uh, sharp as and uh, what i have done is on the on the job where i was working i collected a couple of those couple of those uh, shafts you can call them shafts see that that big one and this is this is exactly same thing, but I uh, I have cut that in in half, and then uh, I have faced I have faced that uh, that end, and then inside that end I cut the slot. Now this is a painful process on a, on a small machine like this one. Nevertheless, I'm happy with the result. It looks absolutely marvelous for, for what I need to do with it. And also, this will be the base, this big, big bearing will be the base of, the, of that uh, uh, bending machine. Now, I haven't... Uh, I haven't invented this myself. I saw that on uh, obviously on a YouTube, and uh, people were making differently. I I choose to make this way just because I can, and just because I have a spare bits and pieces. These bearings are the second-hand one. They have been thrown into the rubbish on a spot where I was working. They have been thrown into the rubbish, and I collected them just in case that I uh, come up with some sort of idea. Of, of doing something so what's gonna happen uh, I'll make this I'll make this uh, round cover for it so the dirt doesn't go in and doesn't doesn't bog the, the bearing and uh, then I'll weld some bits and pieces onto onto this one which will which will help me to bend the bars so at this stage all I need 
is to drill the hole in here size of this shaft so the hole goes through so it, so it goes somehow through and then uh, I will start welding bits and pieces for, for bending so just bear with me and uh, I'll show you the progress or further progress okay I got a final finally set up the drilling drilling uh, bit this is a 50 mil uh, bang good thing cheap as chips we'll see is that worth what it what did I pay for so just uh, bear with me let me grab a bit of a uh, bit of oil bit of oil here okay let's see some reason doesn't want to go let's see what's going on here it should go a dead drill that bit which is inside is blunt as so what I'll do now I'll just um, drill that with the uh, with a center drill quickly and then we'll go from there Center drill, where are ya? Instead of searching for center drill, let's put one of those drill I drill with. Try now. <laughs> this must be some funny material. This is when you grab a scrap, you don't know what you're bringing home. That's it. That's that bit. Now. see what this thing's gonna do now if it's gonna do something
there we go. Done and dusted. Well, it did pay itself, so I'm happy with that thing. Now we'll uh, stick that inside um, inside uh, I'm always lost for words. Where is that spring? And there it is. Bit warm, as my uh, boss used to say. Watch out, that's a little bit heavy. That was heavy. That was heavy. Okay. Let's see, is this heavy? That's heavy too. So let me grab a gloves. It looks like a brand new plate. All right, so let me show you what did I, what I had in mind. Well. thought that uh, this thing should go here like so and then here to cover so the the rubbish doesn't go inside the bearings and obviously show you here that thing is gonna go inside this, the Y's and maybe I'm just thinking maybe this is a little bit too long or maybe not there we go Beautiful. So, what will I do now? I'll do that off the camera. I'm gonna make a notch here. I'll do that with the grinder. So I can, uh, so when I put that inside the, the, the or maybe, just maybe, I should cut that. Maybe I should cut that. That's a little bit that's a little bit too long. So bear with me, I'll chop that off. And then I'll figure out something that will sit sit over the saddle. I'll weld that down. So when I'm doing these things it doesn't so it doesn't go nowhere. Let me just see. So let's say that thing needs to be chopped probably 30 mil. I'll do that off the off the camera and then I'll come back to you with the stuff I made. Bear with me please. Here we go folks, this is finale of making this bar bender. Um, I was so excited, so I started, I started to bend the, to 
bend the elements that I need, which go somehow like this, roughly. They need still to be trimmed off. And uh, I was excited, so I I should I, sh I, I didn't show you how did I make this. So I'll just show you quickly how this this uh, bends. Uh, downfall of this machine is that you have to check constantly your bend. For example, this needs to be bent another, let's say, 10-15 mil. But uh, other than that, I'm completely happy with the, with the project. The thing is, I could have, uh, I could have gone into the shop and buy a proper machine which would cost me if I wanted to buy a proper one which would cost me three hundred and seventy odd dollars and uh, what I had here in, a, in a my junk pile had um, look at that that's almost perfect it's almost perfect. Look at that. Nice and straight. And um, all these materials that I have uh, used to build this thing was uh, made, I mean, was brought from, uh, from jobs where I was, basically picked up from rubbish and brought in here so let me let me show you how this looks like so this handle can be taken off and this was uh, once barbell for lifting weight or something it wasn't barbell because it has a it's hollow but but it looked like that it, and it's uh, I kept it so I don't cut my hands or anything like that so that's that bit. This is a, just a little sleeve. So when you start to bend, the direct friction doesn't go onto this, so it turns this little barrel. I could have put the uh, bearings, but I have a couple over there, and I thought of that, but it'll do what I need to do with it and uh, in order to have that in a in a place nice and small that's that so that's a basically old bearing old double sided bearing and uh, I have welded these two bars on it and that's what is bending the middle bit has been slotted on a little lathe you see that lathe of mine and I also have cut this uh, cover for the so the dirt and, and uh, rubbish doesn't go inside the inside uh, the bearing so, so the bearing can move freely for some reason now it's stuck I don't know what's going on uh, it should hmm, look at that probably while I was welding it maybe it had some sort of a it, it works it works let me let me reassemble that Reason why, there we go, there it is. Reason why I made it like this is if I want to put this away, considering the space that I have in, in this little garage of mine, it, it needs to be nice and nice and tidy. So there you go folks, this is it, this is 
this is that little bender how that little bender looks like it works like a charm the only thing like I said you have to have a sturdy sturdy table this table of mine is on the wheel so it, it wasn't sturdy so to make it nice and sturdy I attached him to the ute and now it, it's it's steady as it's like 1.2 ton or something or 1.5 ton whatever ute is so yeah well this is it guys if you like what I do please subscribe it costs you nothing and uh, like if you like and um, don't like if you don't like <laughs> it costs cost you nothing and uh, I don't make any money out of that either yet but um, God knows what will happen in the future so all the best and thank you for watching